In this video, let's use a reduction formula to determine the indefinite integral or the antiderivative of the tangent to the fourth power of x with respect to x. And of course, tangent to the fourth power as a function of x is equal to the tan of x all to the fourth power. Now the reduction formula, which we derived in a previous video, let's write this out. So the integral of tan to the nth power of x dx is equal to tan to the nth minus 1 power over n minus 1 minus the integral of tan to the n minus 2 power of x dx plus c. So as you can see here with the power reduction formula, the intention is to reduce the index here, and we're doing it by 2 each time we apply this formula. And the condition here is n is greater than 1, otherwise we will be dividing by 0. So let's now make the substitution, the power of 4 for the power of n. And I'll note before I do that, in the previous video where we derived this, I made a mistake. I got this sign wrong here. It is actually supposed to be negative, not a positive. So remember, this sign here in front of the integral is a negative. Okay, so with that, let's apply the reduction formula. So we have the integral of tan to the fourth power is equal to tan to the n minus 1, which is tan cubed of x all over 3 minus the integral of tan squared of x dx plus c. So what we need to do now is to find the integral of the tan of x, sorry, the tan squared of x. And I've done this in a previous video as well, which I'll link in the top right hand corner here. The result of this integral is the tangent of x minus x. So we copy down the other terms. Let's write this one as one third by the tan cubed of x minus tan of x minus x plus c. And we can expand this negative into the brackets here. which means this sign here in front of the x becomes a positive rather than a negative, so the minus becomes a plus, and therefore the resultant integral is the integral of tan to the fourth power of x dx is equal to one third by tan cubed of x minus tan of x plus x plus c. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too difficult, but now let's uh, explore a more general case just for the sake of it. So what if we had tan to the fourth power of ax, where a is just a constant. So we have a coefficient in front of the x here. Well, to solve this, we can just use a simple substitution. So let u equal ax, and the derivative of u then is, the derivative of u with respect to x is simply equal to a, which we can rearrange to be dx is equal to 1 on a du. So if we make these substitutions, the integral becomes the integral of tan to the fourth power of u by 1 on a du. The 1 on a can be written out the front, and if we leave the 1 on a out the front, the rest of the integral carries the same form as above, so it is tan cubed of u on 3 minus tan of u plus u plus the integration constant at the end. The final step is to expand the 1 on a into all of the terms. So we have 1 on 3a 
by 10 cubed u is equal to ax, so we back substitute the original terms, minus 1 on a by the 10 of ax, plus 1 on a by ax plus c. 1 on a by a cancels. These are the two results that we are looking for. It's a bit neater with the straighter lines, isn't it? Uh, that'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please give me a like if you have found this helpful. Share this content on social media and make this channel famous. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Best of luck with your math studies and I'll see you on the next video.